Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see a question today. So today's question is from this topic of maxima and minima. And in this question, we have been told that consider all the rectangles in the given region where the region tells us X and Y belong to real numbers. So both X axis and Y axis belong to real numbers. Further, they have told us x goes from 0 to pi by 2 and y goes from 0 to 2 sine 2x. So this is the regions for x and y. Whatever region we get out of these two parameters, we have been told that we need to find the area of such a rectangle where the perimeter of the rectangle becomes maximum. So among all the rectangles that I can draw in this entire region, we need to find the area of such a rectangle where perimeter of the rectangle is maximum. And we have been told, or we have been given four options as the answer for this area of rectangle. So the options are three pi by two. Next option is pi. Third option is pi by two root three. And the fourth option given to us is pi root 3 by 2. So we have to find out which one of the four options is correct here. That gives us the area of rectangle where perimeter of the rectangle is maximum. So first of all, let's plot these two regions which are parameters which are given to us. And then we'll try to find out the area of such a rectangle where perimeter is maximum. So if I try to find out first the region. So let's say this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis. So y-axis here, x-axis here. Now we have been told here that x goes from 0 to pi by 2. So let's say x-axis consists of all the angles that are theta. So theta basically goes from 0 to pi by 2. So if I try to plot that, x is equal to 0 if you understand this, this line. So this is your angle 0. And let's say this is somewhere pi by 2. So x is equal to pi by 2 is again a line which is parallel to y axis. So this is your line, x is equal to pi by 2. So we have been given this two lines and further the next region which is given to us says y goes from 0 to 2 sine 2x. So y is equal to 0 if you see is this line which is your x-axis and it goes from 0 to 2 sine 2x. So if I want to plot this, now if I put the lower limit that is 0 to sine of 2 theta, so 2 into sine of 2 into 0. So sine of 0 is 0. 2 into 0 comes out 0. So this is 0. And if I also put pi by 2, it becomes 2 into pi by 2. So the angle becomes sine pi. Sine pi is again 0. So 2 into 0 it becomes 0. So you get here also 0. And since it is a sine curve, we already know the maximum value will be for sine theta is 1. And that comes out at sine pi by 2. So if you see... 2x is equal to pi by 2. So at x equals to pi by 4, you get the maximum value here. And so you put it as pi by 4, you get y becoming 2 into sine 2 pi by 4, that is sine pi by 2, and sine pi by 2 is 1. So you get the maximum value y as 2. So let's say if this is 2 on the y axis, so at the mid value, that is pi by 4. You get the maximum point here. So if I write that, that is the peak value. So if you join this now to make your sine curve, do something like this. Right? So this is how your sine curve looks. Just draw that again. So 
resources. So this is your sine curve. Now, if you see the two regions which were given to us, that said zero uh, x lying between or x lying from zero to pi by two and y lying from zero to two sine two x. So basically, if you understand the entire region which is there in this case is this that is told to us. Now let's try to make a rectangle in this such that the perimeter of the rectangle is maximum. So whatever rectangle we get, we then will find the area of this rectangle. So let's say if I have any random rectangle here, if I draw it out, that's it. We have been told that re rectangles, one side lies on the x-axis. So one side of the rectangle, if I draw it on the x-axis, and we don't know this limits. So let's take this limits. Let's say this is theta one. Let's say this is theta two. So if I have this as theta one and this as theta two, this coordinate becomes theta one comma zero. This coordinate becomes theta two comma zero. So we are assuming some points theta one and theta two on the x-axis. Now, if you see this coordinate, this coordinate also has its x coordinate same as theta one only. And since this point also lies on the curve, it should satisfy the curve, which is there or equation of the curve. So the equation of the curve we're given to us is y is equal to two sine x. So if I put the value of x here that we already know in this expression, that is theta one. So y becomes two sine two theta one. So this is your first coordinate theta one comma two sine two theta one. So basically I understand the y coordinate of this point is two sine two theta one. That means this, breadth of the rectangle is nothing but two sine two theta. Now further, if I try to find out this coordinate also, the x coordinate is theta two as we already know it. Now talking about y coordinate, this point also lies on this curve y is equal to two sine two x. So you put x as theta two again, you get two sine two theta. So this becomes your second coordinate. From this, I understand the y coordinate is nothing but the breadth of this rectangle again, two sine two theta two. Now, what I understand from this is length of the rectangle is theta two minus theta one. From here also, I get the length of rectangle as theta two minus theta one. But if you see, we already know the property of a rectangle that says opposite sides of rectangle should be equal to each other. When I know that idea, Opposite sides means two sine two theta one is equal to two sine two theta. So both of them should be equal to each other. If I cancel out two, you get sine two theta one is equal to sine two theta two. Now I know one idea can be where two theta one comes out two theta two. So both angles if they are equal. But I know already from this where I've taken two different coordinates that theta one and theta two cannot be equal. So as theta one and theta two cannot be equal to each other, I cannot have this idea possible. And when I cannot have this idea possible, the only possibility again that comes out here is I can also write sine of any angle theta as sine of pi minus theta. So that is equal so sine of pi minus two theta one. I can write this that becomes equal to sine. If I equate this, I get sine of pi minus two theta one is equal to. Some of you may have doubt. How do I get this sine of two theta one as pi minus two theta one? That is because if you see x and y axis, first quadrant has all the ratios positive. Second quadrant has sine and cosec positive. And when you have this positive in the second quadrant, you write your angles as pi minus theta, right? So that's why you get it as pi minus whatever is the angle that is two theta. So from this equation, you get it as two theta one plus two theta two is equal to pi. Or if I take out two common, you get theta one plus theta two is equal to pi. So theta one plus theta two comes out sum of the two angles becomes equal to pi. So you get the angles sum here as pi by two. So basically whatever are your x coordinates here, 
the sum of them becomes equal to pi by two. Now let's try to find the perimeter of the rectangle so that we can understand what can be the coordinates where you get the perimeter maximum. So now let's try to find the perimeter of the rectangle which is given to us. So we can then use the concepts of maxima and minima. So if I want to find the perimeter is nothing but two times length plus breadth. We already know two times length is theta two minus theta one here. And breadth is, you can take any one. So two sine two theta one. Now I can use this because I know two sine theta one, two theta one and two sine two theta two are equal to each other. So I can use same breadth here. Now theta two minus theta one, let's try to convert that. So I know theta two is pi by two minus theta one here. So if I try to put theta two as pi by two minus theta one, I will eliminate the other variable that is theta. So perimeter becomes two times of pi by two minus theta one minus theta one plus two sine two. So your perimeter actually becomes two into pi by two that is pi minus two theta one into two. So minus four theta one plus four sine two theta. So you get this entire perimeter. Now let's try to use the concept of maxima and minima so that we get the maximum perimeter of the rectangle. So if I use this idea, I know I need to differentiate with, with respect to the x coordinate that is theta one here. So if I differentiate my entire expression of perimeter with respect to theta one, and then if I equate it with zero, I will get the value of theta one here. So if I do that, differentiating this makes it zero because differentiation of pi that is a constant value is zero minus four differentiation of theta one is one plus four differentiation of sine theta is cos theta so it becomes cos of two theta one into further differentiating two theta one that gives you two that is equal to so you get here as four cos 2 theta 1 into 2 is equal to 4. 4, 4 cancels out. Cos 2 theta 1 becomes 1 by 2. So in terms of cos, you get it as half when it is cos of 60 degree, that is cos of pi by 3. So if I equate the angles now, I get that as 2 theta 1 is equal to pi by 3. So theta 1 becomes pi by 6. So that is 30 degrees, that is your first limit theta 1. So you get this coordinate as pi by 3, or I get it as pi by 6, sorry, comma 0. So once I have got theta 1, I can just find out theta 2 as pi by 2 minus theta 1. So that makes it pi by 2 minus pi by 6. If I try to make the denominator, say multiplying both sides by 3, you get 3 pi minus pi. 2 pi by 6, that is pi by 6. So you get this angle theta 2 also now that it is equal to pi by 3, comma 0. Now, this is the coordinates where you get maximum perimeter of the rectangle. So let's understand where we get it as, whether we get it as maximum or not. So to understand that, I will have to prove that by taking the derivative again with respect to theta 1. So taking the derivative again of the derivative which we have already found out, that was zero minus four. So minus four derivative will again turn out zero since it is a constant. And the derivative of this, if you see eight cos two theta one turns out eight. Cos of two theta one gives you minus sine of two theta one into. So that makes it minus 16 sine of 2 theta 1. Now when you put value of theta 1 that is equal to pi by 6 that is 30 that becomes 2 into pi by 6 that is pi by 3 so minus 16 sine of pi by 3 that is 60 again so minus 16 into sine 60 that comes out root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 this entire thing is a positive value 
and with the negative sign that that turns out negative and when we get the second derivative negative we already know that it is going to give us a maximum area or maximum perimeter here in this case so we get this d square p by d theta 1 square less than 0 and when it is less than 0 we are going to get a maxima here so we understand that theta 1 and theta 2 with the coordinates which we have got that give us the maximum perimeter of the rectangle now for this coordinates we have been asked to find the area of rectangle so let's just do that and find the area of rectangle so area of rectangle if i want to find out that is equal to length into breadth length i know already that is theta 2 minus theta 1 and breadth that is given to us 2 sin of 2 so that gives me theta 2 minus theta 1 that is pi by 3 minus pi by 6 and this 2 sin 2 theta 1 that is 2 sin of 2 pi by 6 so that gives you pi by 3 minus pi by 6 is 3 pi by 18 so it comes out pi by 6 again into this comes to sine of pi by 3 that is again root 3 by 3. this gets cancelled you get pi root 3 by 6 but if you see the options there is no option such as such mentioned like this so what i need to do is i need to split the denominator so i can write 6 as 2 into 3 or i can write 3 further as root 3 into 3. so this root 3 gets cancelled out and you get the area of the rectangle as 5 by 2. So if you see the option that matches here with the question is C. So C is the correct answer for the question that is asked to us. That is 5 by 2. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. So what we did was first we found out the region. Once we got the region, we made a rectangle, put two coordinates, theta 1, theta 2 equated the breadth of the rectangle so that gave me a relation between theta 1 and theta 2 once i got the relation i found the perimeter of the rectangle and then used the concept of maxima found the first derivative equated with 0 gave me theta 1 it also gave me theta 2 then i again found the second derivative to understand whether it gives a maximum value so when i put the value of theta 1 i got that as negative that gave me a maximum value of the perimeter once we got the maximum perimeter for theta 1 and theta 2 we understood the coordinates are that only and we found out the area of rectangle by just using like and that gave me the correct answer as pi by 2 i'll meet you again tomorrow with the other question of same series of jwe advanced so please do like share and subscribe to my channel also share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JWE advanced. Thank you.